leave charity and come back to me, little pendant. Be mine once more on the count of four. One, two, three, four. You know, I think seeing the site where Harmony was first settled will really help us with our history report. Maybe we should bring Tabitha with us. I mean, she must know everything about Harmony's past since her ancestor, Tabitha Lennox, was an original settler over 300 years ago. to let everyone eavesdrop on a private conversation. Oh, Teresa, normally I would agree with you 100%, but these girls are like my sisters. I mean, there's nothing that Ethan could say I wouldn't want them to hear. Oh, he's coming, everyone, out of sight. <laughs> mm, darling, we're alone. Mm, finally. Are you sure? Is there anybody else here? No, Teresa left with my girlfriends. Good. Because what I want to say to you, I don't want anyone else to hear. Darling, I love it that you want to be alone with me. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. I wish I could lie to you. You know, pretend I was using you for the crane money and power. But it's not in me to lie to you. Not to make you happy. Sheridan, you deserve more than that. You don't deserve someone who lies to you. So accept me or not, what's your decision? This is it, Father. It's do or die time for Luis and Sheridan. Let's just hope my sister thinks Luis is like all the other men who've used her. Luis is too proud to bend. Your neck is on the line if we don't. We've been through so much together. And I had hoped that we would share so much more. If you can't admit that you said you were using me, then there's nothing more that I have to say to you except goodbye. <laughs> so that's it. It's over. Sharon, I'm not going to let it end like this. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet I'm not going to let it end this way between us. It has to, Luis. I, I can't be with another man who lies to me. Yeah, but I swear I never said those things. Look, I'm not into money and power. You know that. I want to believe you, but I can't forget what I heard you say. I didn't... If you swear that you never said you wanted to use me, then you're lying. And I, I, I won't. I, I can't start a relationship with a lie. Sheridan, I don't want you to, okay? Look, I care too much about you. And you'll say you said those things on the wharf that night? Well, Julian, are Luis and Sheridan finished or not? They're still hanging together by a thread, Father. This proves I was right all along. Your sister and that damn cop were getting close again. If they don't end their relationship now, we'll just have to end it for them. 
really think we should leave. Gwen, what I have to say is important. Are you sure that we won't be interrupted again? Yes. The wedding shower my girlfriends gave me is over. Good, because it's about the wedding. I'm just glad that we're finally alone, because what I have to say couldn't wait another day. So you see... Oh, oh, oh darling, I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. Hello? Hi, I just called to see how the shower went. Mother, you were in on my surprise. Yeah. Annie, you know how I love to plot and scheme. So, was it wonderful? Did your friends do you justice? Oh, it was fabulous from start to finish. What'd you get? Oh, another time, okay? Ethan's here with me now, and he wants to tell me how much he loves me. I guess I was wrong to think that Teresa could lure Ethan away from you. Yes, Mother, you were. Look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. I was right, what I told my mother, wasn't I? That you are here to tell me that you adore me and you can't wait for our wedding? So much for Jimmy Jabba's chance to be on Antiques Roadshow. <sighs> oh, shut up and stop grumbling and help get me out of this wooden witch trap. <sighs> oh, no use, Daddy. You're st stuck. I've not fought the forces of goodness for over 300 years to lose to a bloody piece of furniture. Come on. If it involves a chainsaw, forget it. Um, since Princess's cash flow is dried up, Timmy went up the attic to see what he could sell. And Timmy found a magic crystal. A magic crystal? Timmy will use it to keep Princess free. And then Tabitha can use it to protect Timmy and Tabitha next time Evil Charity tries to kill Timmy and Tabitha. Oh, believe me, Evil Charity will be the least of your worries if you don't get me out of this table. Now come on, Timmy. Help me. Help me. Tabitha's crying for help. Let's go see what's wrong. Your pendant's on the floor. What? How did it get there? I don't know. I'll go put it away. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, I kind of feel like I should wear it right now. All right. Help me, Timmy. Come on. Uh, uh, help me, Timmy! Oh! Ow! That sounded like a little boy. Come on, Charity, you can put the pendant on later. Ah! Uh, Oh, that's hot. I must have been sitting in the sun on the floor. I can't believe it didn't burn you. What? You didn't get burned? No. Why would I be burned? Help me! Come on. I think Tabitha needs our help. Okay. down on the job. Timmy had to show his princess the magic crystal <sighs> before Fluffy come off the path. What is this magic crystal you keep babbling about? Voila! One, two, three, set Tabby free to watch the Olympics on NBC! That's not a magic crystal, you dim-witted doll. This is a glass doorknob. Aunt Clara used to collect them. Oh. Oh. Timmy thought it was worth something. Oh, well. <laughs> well, your efforts might not be totally in vain, Timmy. What is it? That was idea of a knock-knock joke. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm making a hole bigger so I can climb out. Oh, bloody hell, someone's at the door. Tabitha, are you okay? 
Is there a little boy in there with you? Brats, they must have heard me calling for help. Uh, no, uh, everything's fine, dears. Uh, nothing to worry about, just run along. Oh my gosh. That was a little boy we heard. Please, Louise, just admit that you said you were using me and we can forget all about this. We can move on. All right. Yeah, I admit. Look, I admit that it would give me a way out if I said I did it. But I can't lie to you, Sheridan. I won't. That's it. It's over with neither one of us able to move past this. Is that what you no, want? No, hell no. I want you to believe that I never lied to you, and I'm not going to start now. Please. Come on, Sheridan. Look, we've been through so much together. Do you want just throw it all away? Sheridan, I never used you, hurt you, lied to you. Why can't you believe that? I know you think that I'm just being stubborn, but I'm not. I'm fighting for something good and true in my life. Something real and lasting. I'm just sorry that it can't be with you. More sorry than you'll ever know. Sher Sheridan, come on. Sheridan! Please. We won, Father. Luis and Sheridan were each too proud to give in. The threat they're being to get opposed is gone at long last. I'm pleased we dodged this bullet, Julian, but it was too close for comfort. You must see that Luis stays away from Sheridan. For good this time. Were they to reconnect and discover our family's deepest secrets? bring down the entire Korean Empire. Forget it, Roger. I'm not killing Sheridan. Nick, you're the only one I can trust. about my love for you and I'm getting married. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> you mean the world to me. And the thought of hurting you in any way is... Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Ethan, I know you would never hurt me. That's why I love you so much. Don't answer that, okay? <laughs> Ethan, sweetheart, I have to. What if it's about the wedding? We don't want any unpleasant surprises now, do we? Hello? I just had the most exciting news. The Today Show called, and Matt and Katie want to do a segment on you and Ethan. The young heir to the Crane Empire and the woman he loves. Oh, my goodness. Ethan, Matt Lauer, and Katie Kirk want to have us on the Today Show. <laughs> Look, Gwen, tell your mother not to interrupt us anymore. We need our privacy. Mother, Ethan really wants to be alone with me right now, okay? We will talk later. Okay, darling, I promise no more interruptions. We are completely alone. Now, tell me what's in your heart and don't hold back. I want to remember this day forever. I'm sure we both will. I was wrong. It's not a little boy, it's Tabitha's doll. It just looks so real squirming around like that. It must be motorized or something. Tabitha, are you all right? Oh. Oh, oh silly old me. I climbed up on the table to try and change a light bulb and... 
lost it thing gave way. Oh. But Tabitha, there's no light bulb up there. And that's not a light bulb in your hand, it's an old doorknob. Good luck getting out of this one, Tabby. No wonder, no wonder I was having such a hard time. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have Dr. Russell come check on you. Oh, that's all I need. No, 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 no need, no need. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Oh, no, but a fall at your age, I'm sorry. Uh, I come from very hardy stock, dear. Strong bones and muscles and all that, you know? <laughs> Look. Oh. Fit as a fiddle, see? <laughs> well, thanks for checking up on me. Off you go, then. You know what? We, we were sure that we heard a little boy cry out in pain. With me. <laughs> Ow! You see, I, I do an imitation of a of a little lad's high pitched cry. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> How's that? Not bad, eh? <laughs> uh, actually, I was thinking of doing a ventriloquist act with Timmy. Do either of you two know a good agent? Oh, well, pity. <laughs> well, thanks for coming by. <laughs> you can come and visit me anytime. <laughs> um. Hey, I'm so sorry that we can't help you out, but there is something that you could do for us. Oh? Well, we were writing this history report on Harmony. And, and you know everything that's ever happened here since, you know, a Tabitha Lennox has lived in Harmony for over 300 years. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Wouldn't it be incredible if all those Tabithas were one and the same? And you were over 300 years old? <laughs> Any chance Luis and I had, thank you, of having a future together has gone for good. Yeah, I uh, talked to Luis earlier. He said that things were coming to a head between you two. At least he was honest about that. Luis still can't admit that he said he was using me, but I saw him. I heard him on the wharf that night. I can't risk another relationship with a man that I don't trust. I've put my faith in so many men who've hurt me that I would just die if that happened again. Well, I'm sorry that you and Louise had to go through that, okay? But the truth is, is that, you know, I've been waiting for you two to make up your mind whether you love each other or hate each other. And, hey, I guess now the verdict's in. No, no, I could never hate Louise. It's not in you to hate anyone. But it sounds to me like you're not losing your heart to Louise after all. I can't love a man I don't trust. Well, I hope you can trust me, Sheridan, because I'd never lie to you. Never. Oh, Louise, I've been looking for you, you bastard. Oh. You and Ethan tried to brainwash Sheridan into thinking that I've been using her? You're not going to get away with this, Julian. I'm going to get to the bottom of what's really going on here. Be my guest. It matters not. Because no one, especially Sheridan, is going to believe a lying user like you. Oh, is that right? Yes. Now, first you call my father a thief. Now you call me a liar. It's funny. Because you're the one who's been lying this whole time. You, Alistair, oh. Ethan. Now you're trying to trick Sheridan into thinking I'm using her. But still, such hate for my family. And why? I mean, how can you possibly blame us for anything now that Dr. Russell has been... Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you and Alistair didn't. Martin skipped town when we caught him with his hand in the till. He committed a criminal act, much like you did when you kidnapped my sister. I was trying to protect The point her. is, we had a deal. Now, Sheridan doesn't know this, but in exchange for me dropping the criminal charges, you agreed to stay away from my sister. You were to have nothing to do with her whatsoever, or I'd have the charges reinstated. And you could end up in prison for the next 40 years. Yeah, well, I can't help it if the FBI hired me to be Sheridan's body. You took account. advantage of the situation. You used it to get close to Sheridan again. But I will not have this. No, I'm holding you to our deal. That is, if you are a man of your word. See, I, I've gone over and over in my head what I want to tell you, Gwen. But I haven't been able to because we haven't been alone until now. And what I'm about to tell you is too important to our future just to blurt out. And I had to find the perfect moment to tell you what's in my heart. Tell me, Ethan. Tell me what's in your heart. You know, it's, it's hard to put into words. 
Now, I wish I were a poet to describe what loving you has meant to me. Ethan, I've never seen you this emotional before. I mean, what is it you want to tell me? It's about you and me, Gwen. And our future. Well, there's been a Tabitha Lennox in Harmony ever since the town was first founded. Hundreds of years ago. Oh, yes, yes. Well, you know, the, the name gets passed down to the oldest daughter for every generation. Uh, you must know so much about Harmony's past. <laughs> you know, we would love to interview you for our history report. Uh, yeah, but first we were going to document the ruins of the original Harmony settlement. Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. Why not? Because... Uh, uh, because there's nothing out there to document. <laughs> You'll be wasting your time. And anything you want to find out about Harmony, you can find in the history books. <laughs> now, go along. Nose to the grindstone and all that. All right, bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> dears. Bye-bye. <sighs> so I haven't got enough problems without those brats wanting to go digging around the original Harmony settlement. I can't let that happen. No bloody way. What is Tabitha so afraid of? So many things, Timmy. So many things. The real history of Harmony must stay hidden at all costs. Then why did you have to write this? The Hidden Harmony by Tabitha Lennox. Where did you get it? When Jimmy was looking for things to sell, <laughs> Tabitha really wrote a book. <laughs> By hand, no less. <laughs> it was the late 70s, a time of declining morals and high inflation. <laughs> Not much for a witch like me to do, so I started reading. I read Harold Robbins, Jacqueline Suzanne, Daniel Steele, and frankly, I thought I could do better. After 300 years of living in this burg, I have enough dirt on every family and every illicit relationship in harmony to write an epic novel about the past, the present and the future. Oh yes, this is a hell of a book, Tim Tim. The sensation it would cause if it were ever published. It were, well, it would make Peyton Place look like a children's bedtime story. <laughs> this is great, Tabitha! Between the book deal, the movie rights, and the merchandising, Timmy and Tabitha will never be thirsty for a martini again! It will never happen, lad. That's why this was in the attic. Oh. My book will never be published. <laughs> No, it'll... It's far too explosive. It's a pity, really, because it's got bestseller written all over it. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, drat. We've still got to get that blasted pendant back from charity. <sighs> what about our future, Ethan? Tell me what's in your heart. Gwen, you're like my other half. <laughs> everything we've done together, everything that we've lived through, will be etched in me forever. And I'll cherish the memories we've made, even when... when... Gwen, what I'm trying to say is... What's going on? Hey, who's behind the screen? <laughs> Wait, just stop, okay? Quinn, what's going on? Did you know that we weren't alone? 
Ethan, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted my girlfriends to hear you tell me how much you love me. I can't believe that you'd let people eavesdrop on what was supposed to be a private conversation. And that you would go along with it. No, no, don't be mad at Teresa. She was the only one who thought it was a bad idea. God, and from the look on your face, I can tell she was right. I'm sorry I set you up, Ethan. I, I feel awful. Damn it, Gwen. I, I wanted us to be alone. Ethan, from seeing you so emotional and hearing the things that you had to say, I know why you wanted to speak to me in private. You do? Ethan, I can see it in your eyes. Hank, you're very sweet and kind and good, but I just don't think I can start a relationship right now. Okay, I'll take things slow. No pressure, I promise. Just let me be here for you, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Well... What's it going to be, Luis? Will you keep up your end of our bargain and stay away from my sister? Or will you go bye-bye to the big house, leaving your family more destitute than ever? Sharon, I have something to say to you. I can't imagine what. We both talked until we were blue in the face and got nowhere. Neither one of us is willing to compromise our convictions. Luis, just let it go for now, okay? Just let it go. I can't. It's about our future. You know what I wanted to tell you? You were searching for the right words to tell me that that you love me more than life itself. And that's why you're so emotional. Because the love you feel for me is so overwhelming. And I know, Ethan, because, because I feel the same way about you. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible for me to love you any more <laughs> than I did the day you proposed to me. Oh, but each day since then, my love has deepened for you. And we planned our wedding, and we talked about the kind of life we're going to have together, and the children we'll raise, and the future we'll build, and I loved you even more. And then, here today, now, I, I see the love in your eyes, and the emotion you're feeling so close to our wedding. Oh, Ethan, I, I never dreamed I could love someone as much as I love you. That's the most romantic thing I've ever heard. God, oh, I'm so happy, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, Gwen, I, I know I promised not to interfere, but the most horrible thing has happened. Mother, what? I was on my way home in the car and I got a call from Madame Colette. Your shoes for the wedding and the shoes of all your bridesmaids have been lost in transit from Italy. Oh my God. Oh my God, but it took us months to find the perfect shoes. Oh my goodness, well, well we have to start looking for new shoes right now. Oh my oh, God. No. Gwen, Gwen, wait, I want to be alone with you. Ethan, you're not having pre-wedding butterflies, are you? No, no, that's not it. Well, I mean, after hearing how much you love me, I mean, I know you're not calling off the wedding. <laughs> I mean, well, look, I promise you we will be alone tonight, but if you plan on marrying me, I have to find new shoes right now because I am not walking down the aisle barefoot. <laughs> um, you have my shoe size. Would, would you and your mother pick something out for me? I, I have so much work to do at, at the house. I, I really don't have time to oh, go shopping. Oh, of course, Teresa. I mean, it's the least I can do after everything you've done for me and Ethan. So I will see you tonight. Bye, I love you. Let's go!
You knocked over that tray, didn't you? Yes. I had to warn you. Oh, it's a good thing you did. And you stopped me telling Gwen that I'm calling off the wedding in front of her friends. You know, but after hearing her bare her soul about loving me, you know, telling her that the wedding is off will do more than hurt her. It will break her heart forever. Does this mean you, you won't tell Gwen that the wedding is off? That you're going to marry her after? I agreed that we have no future together. Look, I'm talking about me protecting you from now on. You know I'm still your bodyguard until the FBI tells me there's no longer a threat from those French drug dealers. And uh, since the threat seems to have lessened, I, I feel I can do my job just as well from outside the cottage. But, but the weather will be turning cold soon. You'll be miserable outside. Well, I'm just a cop doing my job. By the book from now on. Well, that's a wise decision, officer. You can guard my sister without having any personal contact with her. Yeah. So the new rules start now, and uh, I'll be outside if, if anything happens. Glad that you uh, wised up, Louise. I understand that cops who go to prison are invariably unpopular. Look, I never lied to your sister, all right, Julian? Well, whatever you say, Louise. Look, I'm backing out of Sheridan's life because she wants nothing to do with me. And whatever we had or could have had, it's finished now. It'd better be. Bennett are out. Jessica's minding the store and Kay's off with Simone. Now's our chance to grab that pendant and run, Timmy. Now, I know it's in here somewhere. I can sense it. You check the base cabinets and I'll check the drawers. I've got to find that pendant and destroy it. Before it turns charity evil and it destroys us. You know what? I'm gonna go drop off my shawl in the house. It's not very cold. Okay. Jimmy can't find the pendant anywhere. <laughs> Neither can I. Where can the cursed thing be? What you looking for, Tabitha? Charity, dear, uh, I was looking for uh, Grace's famous tomato soup cake recipe. It's so delicious. <laughs> That's weird. I mean, I, I could have sworn that you were looking for something else. Like... The Pendant. Oh, no! The evil Charity's back! <laughs> That's right, dog boy. And you and the old batter in deep guano. Ew. Not only did you fail in trying to kill you, know, but now you're trying to steal the pendant and destroy it? De destroy it? No, no, we, 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 we just wanted to take it back to our house to, for safekeeping. Why, witch, it's time for you and the little dog boy to die. Do something, Delta! Save to me, Delta! Oh, sorry, dollface. I'm afraid we've dodged our last lightning bolt. Fitting we should die in the kitchen, though, since our gooses are well and truly cooked. <sighs> Look, Louise, I know you're hurting, okay? But you've always known that your future with Sheridan was doomed from the start. Yeah, it's just that her and I were finally able to agree without going to battle stations. Well, even so, she can't get past what she heard you say. Yeah, damn it, Hank, I never said that I wanted to use Sheridan. Then why doesn't she believe you? Because of all the lies that Julian and Ethan are filling her head with. That's why. You know, I always knew that Julian was evil. But now I find out that Ethan's... Ethan's just as bad as his father and grandfather. 
You know, the cranes destroy everything good. Everything. Look, I know you have issues with Sheridan's family, but I don't. And now that I finally have the field to myself, I'm making a play for Sheridan. Nothing's changed. I'm going to tell Gwen that the wedding is off before the party tonight. It must have been awful to hear Gwen talk about how much she loves me. Not be able to say anything. It is so sweet of you to worry about me when, when you're so concerned about not hurting Gwen. Well, I'll let her down as gently as I can tonight. When I get her alone and Tell her that I love you. I love you too. Ugh, you know what? I must have left my car keys on the terrace. Yep. Well, don't take too long, okay? Because we still gotta get you some shoes for the wedding. I know, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 